The Idaho Black Community Alliance opened up their doors in 2020 with a mission to support, engage, and empower black businesses, professionals, and families in Idaho. And since then, the IBCA has delivered on that mission. Hector Mendoza spoke with the organization, a few businesses as well, about the importance of having something like this in the Gem State. Hector, tell us about it. Well, Maggie, Justin, I did speak to a few of the many businesses that are a part of the alliance that have been able to achieve their dreams because of the support of the Idaho BCA. Starting a business is no easy task, but for some, there are extra hurdles to overcome. You get all that research and stuff, and I knew that my salon was a great idea. I went to get a business loan. I sat across the table from a 65-year-old white man who told me there was no need for what I do here. Why can't we just go to Supercuts? No bank thought that we were a viable business. Just when they looked at us, you don't look like yoga instructors. And it didn't matter that I have a master's in organizational management, that my business partner and I combined have over 50 years experience in management and business. Aside from having a hard time getting access to money, the Idaho BCA says many black owned businesses also start off with fewer resources and limited networking opportunities. So to bridge that gap, Trish Walker, the CEO and founder of the Idaho Black Community Alliance, started the organization to provide that support. We decided that it was really important for us to support black businesses and black businesses were missing that hand touch. Representation matters. We want to make sure that we're giving them that support so that they can understand from their experience. And we want to meet them right where they're at. The amount of black owned businesses in Idaho is growing. And Walker says when they started. We started about three years ago. They began with only a handful of businesses, but now the Idaho BCA supports about 175 businesses across the state. We offer black hair care. We have um, soul food businesses and restaurants. We have uh, IT specialists. We have yoga and just anything that you would want to have as a business, but it's black owned. And Nicole Bell, the owner of Tusi Yoga, says being a small business owner can be lonely, but having the IBCA has helped her make connections. And knowing that I can reach out to a fellow business owner who understands exactly what I'm feeling, who can guide me a little bit like hey here's a resource or why don't you come to this event so you could be surrounded by other people going through the same thing you can talk to somebody bounce ideas off of them matthew montoya owner of loomis optical says the ibca has helped with much more than just getting their name out there but in the resources of um, helping us with marketing um, helping us um, connect with other um, individuals and organizations um, that have been a benefit to our business and uh, just helping us grow and succeed. And both businesses agree that they wouldn't be where they are without the help of the IBCA. Because they have this huge network, they can see opportunities that you couldn't. They can see ways to leverage your strengths that you couldn't. Walker hopes that as the years go on, they can continue to help the black community succeed and thrive. As far as black folks in Idaho, we're a small percentage, but we're very mighty. And we want to be able to offer any type of resource for cultural, for heritage, for business, for the professional, and for the networking so that we can have a sense of belonging in Idaho. The Idaho BCA offers tailored training, business developments, and networking opportunities. And they also have events like the Soul Food Festival that they oh, have yes. in Boise every year. Yeah. That also helps with millions of businesses to help them kind of just connect, network, and then just, you know, be around, you know, like-minded people and people that share the same culture. People love the Soul Food Festival every year. It's packed. It's packed. I think they yeah. sell everything out because yeah. the food is so delicious. Yeah. Well, and those businesses are incredible, too. Yeah, I got to are. get some glasses. I don't need them, but I, I don't know. know. They had some cute ones. Maybe we'll just yeah. wear the frames. That's yes. awesome. Hector, thank Thanks, you. Hector.